Lester here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the fantastic new Ivia Volga from the Soul Blight Grave Lord, sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. And I'm very excited because she might be the start of the new Soul Blight Grave Lord's army. We don't know yet, <laughs> but it could happen. Anyway, thank you to them, and we are going to jump in and start painting him. She has been primed in grey sear. And the colour we're going to be using first is a roughly three parts Nighthaunt Gloom to one part Eldari Emerald. And that's because she's got this very weird colour on her dress. Now, we're just going to start applying this all over. Just like this. Now, it's not going to stay this colour, don't worry. But it is a very peculiar, sort of dirty greenish grey that she has on here. So we mix these two together, which gives us both those elements. So that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Leviathan blue and we're going to apply this over the top of the top half of her clothes. And so with that now done, we're going to take a roughly one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one mix of Contrast Medium, Eldari Emerald, and Leviathan Blue. And we're going to apply this once again over the top of the, you know, the bottom part of the dress, but we're going to do it in two different ways. So for the inside, what we're going to do is we're going to apply this over the top, just like this. And then over the outside of the dress, we're going to once again apply it, but we're going to do a little bit of kind of blending away to kind of just kind of add a little bit more of that kind of extra tone in there. So we're going to start up here in the corner. We're going to bring this down like this over the front of the dress like this and get it all over like that. And then we're going to wash the brush and then over the top of the, the large folds we're just going to pull off some of that paint. Just 
is mostly going to be just there across the front to get this kind of transition going on. We should add a little bit more of this down here. And a little bit more around the top. Wash the brush. And then we lift it off. And then we're going to do the same thing on the back as well. It's a little bit easier around here because you've got a lot more going on. So we get this all over. Like that. Wash the brush. And then we just start lifting it off in the places that we want to be a little bit brighter. Like so. And we can just go in and add a little bit more. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, because we do have a little bit more to do, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earth Shade and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the fur. on her clothes, not on her body. We're just looking at the little bit around here. Like so. We've got this bit as well. I've got the hat. And with that done, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this to the remaining fabric. So we've got this scarf in here. Like that. And we've got her sleeves. So with that all done, she's now looking pretty good. However, she's a bit bright, a bit colorful. So we need to darken her down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use null oil to do this. And we're gonna use this in a couple of different ways. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this all over the top of all of the Leviathan blue, all of the Flesh Terrors red, and over the top of the fur as well. Just to make it feel a little bit colder a little bit more dead. That. 
we just get it over the top of that sleeve as well. I got that other little bit of red in there too. As well, like that. What we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of the cloak, or the dress, or the skirt. However, we're, I've already forgotten what we're calling it. What we're going to do is we're going to apply this more towards the recesses and darker areas. Of the cloak. Need to smooth that out just a little bit. Like that. But if you want to, you can just apply this all over. If you want to just take the edge off of this bit a little bit more. So I'll just show you what that looks like. Just apply the null oil. like that however if you don't want to do it all over you do want to do the recess shade you can just go in there and lift the paint off like so Just whilst we're waiting for all of that null oil to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the bats. So with that Black Legion all applied to the bats, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some thinned down pallid witch flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of her skin. like this. This is a good way of just correcting any mistakes that you might have on the previous layers of paint. But also, it's our first kind of step for all the skin. So with all that pallid witch flesh applied, we're then going to take some Mortarian Grime. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the skin. And with that Mortarian Grime applied, we're then going to take some Seraphim Sepia. And we're going to apply this over the top of all the skin. We're just going to avoid the fur just here, just for the moment. And you really don't need a whole lot of this over from Sepia here. And so with that Seraphim Sepia applied, we're then going to take a roughly four parts contrast medium to one part wildwood mix. I'm going to use this to do a little bit of kind of blending in. So 
towards the top of the fur on the leg. We're going to add some of this. Just going to add it all over actually at this point. Like that. Then we're going to wash the brush. I'm just going to create a little bit of a fade by just lifting off and feathering away at the paint over about half of it, half of this detail as it were, like that. And then similarly on the feet, I'm going to apply this like this, coming up to around about the, the knee. Like that sort of thing. Wash the brush. And then once again, just want to add a little bit of a blended section. And then like that. And with that done, we then take some wildwood on its own. I'm going to apply this over the top of the toes. Coming up a little bit onto the leg. Like that. Wash the brush. And then just smooth out the transition. Like that. And with that wildwood all applied, we're then going to take some skeleton hoard. And we're going to apply this over the top of the bottom part of the leg and the top part of the leg and the under part of the of the fur like that. We're then going to wash the brush and then around the kneecap. I'm going to lift some of it off. Just like that. We do need to do some of this skeleton hall on the back here. But we don't really have to blend it there. Nor do we have to on the other leg. Mostly just this one that we need to focus on. So with that now done, we're then going to once again take Skeleton Horde and Wildwood. And we're going to apply this over the top of the axe. So we're going to apply the Skeleton Horde like this. the brush, grab a little bit of wildwood, not very much. I'm going to apply this over the top of this little section of the axe. And I'm just going to add a little bit of it in. To around about half. Of the rest of the after the axe. Just like that, so we get a very soft transition through. So that done, we can now move on from the skin and the axe handle, but we can't move on from the axe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down lead belcher and apply this over the top of the axe head. And so with that lead belcher applied, we're then going to take some thinned down retributor armor. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the fancy trim on the axe head. Like 
and that sort of thing. And over the top of the fancy trim on a jacket. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on Evia Volga. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our only shade because we've done a lot of shading that we've gone along. The color we're going to be using is Targor Raid Shade. And we're applying this over the top of the silver and the gold. So with that done, Ivia Volga is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. She's looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave her there. No, we're going to take it to the next level. I'm going to be doing this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one we're going to add is Flayed One Flesh. And we're going to be using this to highlight all of her skin. So we're just going to come in here and start on the face. Just like this sort of thing, but we are also going to do this on the legs. Just picking out the edges of all of the muscles. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Screaming Skull and apply this to her teeth. Like that. We're going to apply this over the top of her eyes, like that sort of thing, and we're going to use this to highlight the fur on her body. And so with that now done, we're then going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Flayed One Flesh and Pallid Witch Flesh, and we're going to use this to spot highlight both the fur on the body and her skin. Just looking out to pick out the sharpest points of all her flesh. like that sort of thing on the face, areas like the tips of the fingers, like so, and we've also got areas like the kneecap, And then all the fur. As well. Like that sort of thing. And then what we're also going to do with this mix, because we've got it, is we're going to use this to highlight all of her fur on her clothes. So with that done, all of the flesh and all of the fur is now finished on Evia Volga. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the next color, and that is going to be the outside of her dress particularly at the bottom. Now the color we're going to be using for this is Iron Rack Skin. And we don't really need to do very much here. We just want to pick out the sharp 
folds. in the cloak. You want really nice fine highlights here. And with that iron rack skin applied, we're then going to take some deepkin flesh I'm going to apply this to the sharpest points. On this cloak or dress. I keep changing my mind on what it is. So with that now done, what we can do is we can take some thinned down a latoc blue and we can use this to highlight the dark blue areas of her clothes. And so with that a latoc blue applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Hoeth blue and use this to add a little spot highlight toward dark blue. So with that done, all of her clothes are now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the bats. The colour we're going to be using to highlight these is Storm Vermin Fur. So with all of that storm vermin fur applied, the bats are actually finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down iron breaker. We're going to use this to highlight the axe blade. And with all that iron breaker applied, we're then going to take some liberator gold. And we're going to use this to highlight the gold. So with that now done, Ivia Volga is now finished. However, we are just going to very quickly do her base. Now, the colour we're going to be using first for this is Black Templar. And we're going to be applying this over the top of the tree branch. So just whilst we wait for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some rattling grime and we're going to apply this over the top of all the soil. And this rock. And with that rattling grime applied, we then take some skeleton hoard and we apply this over the top of the skull. And so with those three colours applied, we're then going to take some astro granite debris and we're going to apply this over the top of all the negative space around her base. We're going to leave this to dry for three or four hours. before we come back, so you get a little rest. Now that her base is all dry, we're going to take some Agrax Air Shade. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the soil.
just like this. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Tyrant Skull and we're going to dry brush the entirety of the base, including the tree. And then she's finished. All you have to do is add some tufts if you want to. And finish off the rim of the base in a colour of your choice. And so with her base complete, Evia Volga is now finished. Ready to, you know, be an outcast and hunt monsters. She's pretty cool. She's got some really, really good rules, so I'd recommend checking her out in the new Soul Blight Grave Lords Battle Tome. And yeah, this might be the first model in a new Soul Blight Grave Lords army. I really, really like her. I think she's really cool. I think I went a little bit long on one of those uh, edge highlights on her cloak, but I'm still really pleased with it. I think she looks great. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.